Good evening, and welcome to CSAP TCAB Today. I am your host, Lisa Trujillo, and I'm reporting today from the University of Colorado, Denver. As this is a first ever episode, I wanted to give you an explanation of how we got here. The assessment program began in 1993 with the passage of Colorado House Bill 1313 by Governor Roy Romer. After content standards for 12 subject areas were written, revised, and finalized after numerous public reviews, only then could assessments be written relative to the standards. In 1997, the first students sat down to test their knowledge on the CSAP. Fully operational nine years later in 2006, CSAP would test the following subjects in the following grades. Reading and writing in grades three through 10, math in grades three through 10, and science in grades five, eight, and 10. The simple purpose of the Colorado Student Assessment Program is to provide a picture of student performance for educators, the public, and policymakers. During the beginnings of CSAP, President Bush signed into law the No Child Left Behind Act of 2001. Among other issues in the initiative, No Child Left Behind required all states to create and administer tests in grades 3 through 10 in reading and writing, math and science. This requirement would not be difficult for Colorado due to the fact that the only additional tests needed would be science for 8th and 10th graders, as well as math for 3rd and 4th grade students. So, for the past six years, students across Colorado have been trying their very best on the CSAP test every spring. This March, students were administered the Transitional Colorado Assessment Program, or TCAP. The road to TCAP began in 2008. Colorado lawmakers, educators, and parents, and community members began work on CAP for K, Colorado's Achievement Plan for Kids. CAP for K would require the next generation of standards and assessments for teaching and learning. These aligned systems would provide clear expectations and greater transparency around what it takes for all students to su succeed after high school. After finalization of the post-secondary workforce readiness definition, the next step was to expand and refine Colorado model content standards from preschool through high school. When teachers returned to school in August of 2011, they were met with new academic standards. These standards would replace the model content standards and drive the need for the TCAP assessment in March of 2012. Due to the differences between the old standards and the new academic standards, districts and teachers will be expected to implement the transition over several years. This will also give the necessary time to train teachers on the new standards. The academic standards should be fully in place by the 2013-2014 school year. Therefore, TCAP testing will be only in place for two years. Assistant Commissioner of Assessments and Research and Evaluation, Joe O'Brien, believes that the ultimate goal of the new standards and the new assessment will be prepared graduate competencies. What should every 13th grader know and be able to do when they move on to the workforce or post-secondary education. With the new standards and new assessment, Colorado is certainly on its way to an even more robust and demanding public education system through the hard work of legislators, policymakers, parents, and of course our students. So you may ask, who is deciding how the new assessment will look anyway? In 2009, Educational stakeholders from Colorado were selected by the Colorado Department of Education's commissioner to assemble possible recommendations for the new assessment. The assessment stakeholder committee was a group of 35 
who assembled to help frame the issues of the CSAP, identify suggested improvements, and guide the work of subcommittee groups. When the work by the Assessment Stakeholder Committee was complete in 2010, the State Board of Education and the Commission on Higher Education jointly adopted the assessment design attributes. Currently, the Department of Education is accepting proposals for the new assessment, which, assuming that funding is identified and secured, should be administered in the spring of 2014. The Colorado Department of Education has asked the legislature for $26 million to create new tests that would begin in the spring of 2014. With the current financial outlook in the state, Colorado Governor Hickenlooper, Hickenlooper does not support that request and would prefer to wait until 2015 for multi-state and perhaps cheaper tests. Time, the economy, political policy, and educator input will determine the outcome of what will, what will be administered in the spring of 2014. The road of our state assessments has been paved with speed bumps and detours of progress ever since inception almost 15 years ago. While the road has been bumpy, there have been dedicated professionals, passionate stakeholders along the way. The people of Colorado have proven a commitment to their children and their education. What the future brings is yet to be seen, but no doubt the people behind the policy will have the best intentions in mind for our children. For this reporter, I believe in the assessment program and the rich data that it gathers for educators, parents, and students across the state. I also believe that the way which the state of Colorado has made the changes has been thoughtful, purposeful, meaningful, in collaboration with all stakeholders involved. I would urge to build the new assessments with financial burdens in mind. For the price of the assessment, are there programs or other pieces that we're giving up? There should not be any sacrifice in the name of assessment. Most of all, when you build the assessment, build the best assessment possible. Build an assessment that truly shows an accurate picture of a student and, apply, and how they apply their knowledge with 21st century skills in mind. Build an assessment that shows that students are prepared to, to succeed not only for our assessment, but all in college and in life. I hope you have enjoyed our program. This is Lisa Trujillo signing off for the CSAP TCAP today. Good night. <laughs>